Yeah, I mean, ready is like a, ready might be a stretch because you never know, like just, I mean, we've only done one. Last year, I was probably less ready than I am right now. Like Jen has been tremendous, so we're, we are technically ready. Emotionally, psychologically ready, I don't know that you can be. so nervous, it's unbelievable. Uh, this group of people is so incredibly important to me, and uh, it means a lot that you're sitting here. Everybody here that can change the game is here. You just have to run into them. Everybody was there. And because everybody was there, I wasn't sure what to do. You might have heard it already from the people that were there, from the posts that you've seen. It's about relationships. And yeah, everything that you heard from the stage was great, but it was the people that were there. It was the connections that were made that was special. And that's what could not be recreated under any circumstances. And it's those connections, it's those relationships that I personally decided I needed to be present for. What I remember is, is just being there and absorbing the information from you, from everybody. And it's cool to care. That is what's so special about the people sitting in this room is that for so long, this group of people, the people who believe what you believe, that sales and marketing and customer experience and going the extra mile and doing the special things and working late at night and getting up at 5 a.m., that you did these things, these extra things that no one told you to do, you didn't have to do them, you did them because of what was right, what was right for your customer. We were kind of put in a little box over here, right? You guys are the weirdos. <laughs> It's cool to care. That's why we're here, right? It's okay to stand up and say, and say, I give a shit about my people and that's okay. And that is what makes this group of people special. Because that's the thing that we will never be able to recreate on a regular basis. We can talk to each other, we can educate each other, we can learn from each other all the time, and we do. But the thing that we can't do is actually experience those moments together. Breathe the same air, smell the same smells, I guess. See the same things, right? And it's in those sights, it's in those smells, it's in those sounds that things take on a different meaning. If you don't allow kind of those things to happen, you, you might miss it. And that's what Elevate 2018 was for me. It was too much of a good thing in one place. And it's not just about the relationships that were there. It's about figuring out a way to find new ones that weren't. I think one of the things that makes this event different than many events that we go to is the diversity of thought in the room. No questions are not allowed. Everyone is sharing. Everyone is bringing their own ideas and we're kind of duking it out to get to the right place. My question to you guys is, because we've talked about you guys helping agents in the Indian agency channel as far as training to get to the next level. What are you guys doing as far as diversity and inclusion so that our agency starts to mirror our you know, changing landscape in our country? Because that's going to be a big part of the work that we're doing in the future. Uh, Alex is also the chair or former chair of the Diversity Council of the Big Eye. Chair. Chair. And I would encourage anybody um, 
who is interested in this topic to spend time with Alex. We, the two of us, have had some incredibly interesting conversations. And to be involved with that task force, I, I think internally in our organizations, this is one of the key topics. And actually something that you brought up, I, I really believe personally, and I, and I apologize to Bogart your time, but uh, this is an incredibly important issue for me being a tall white guy, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want the industry to look the way that I do anymore because we're not our best that way. And I think this culture of knocking down the archaic, you know, I'm the leader, do what I say mentality, you know, you said people can question you, they can push back on you. And I think that is starting to open up these opportunities. Um, and I just hope that we, we take it as seriously as it needs to be taken. How do we let them know that we're here and that maybe they want to be a part of it? Because the relationships we have right now are not going to be the ones that carry us into the future. It will be the ones that we haven't made yet, that we haven't figured out how to start, that will continue to allow us to grow, to evolve, to change. And when so many people with so much influence and respect and experience in this industry find themselves in the same place together. A lot of conversations are had that would have never happened otherwise, but because we all decided to be in the same place at the same time to talk about things that we normally reserve to our own little corner of the world, they became possible. And it's in these new possibilities that these conversations start what is going to happen now? What needed to happen before? What should be happening? Well, with everyone. If you weren't there this year, don't worry about it. We'll see you next time. If you were, now you know what to expect. If you don't want to feel crazy about the way you think things should be done in your agency or in the industry, well, you know where to go. I don't want this to just be here. It was never meant to just be. I want you to take this back and be the ambassadors of this idea that giving a shit is important. And if we focus on it, carry not tactics, not strategy, not technology, not our carrier appointments, but caring is our particular advantage. And I know you'll do that. Thank you. On the count of three, guys, ready? One, two, three! Oh,